I'm Adrian from ExploringEA.com. In this video we take a quick look at EA Forms with some examples that illustrate its function. EA Forms is an extension to Spark Systems Enterprise Architect that allows users to configure alternative data editing forms which will be presented to the user when both adding or editing elements. Before showing some EA Forms examples I'm going to take a quick look at what users would do with a standard EA product. So in my project browser I'm going to select a use case diagram. I'm going to go to the toolbox and add another use case. And EA presents its standard dialog. For many users this information is fine. However, there is also information that's presented that for some users may not be relevant or important to them. They don't need the level of detail that's presented. In fact, what we found in our work is we've come across many users, particularly those who are new to EA or modeling, who can become confused and they're not sure what information is required when, or in fact if it's required at all. Not only is this confusing, but can lead to inconsistencies of data entry across the project. In a broader context, this can result in concerns and reservations with using EA. I'm going to now look at another example, BPMN. I've created an activity on here and when we look at its properties once again there's quite a lot of information and in specifically I'm going to look at the BPMN properties themselves we see that there are a large number of tagged values however it may be that only a few of them are relevant to the current project in general it's also worth noting that a problem we see uh, is often the ensuring consistency across a project in fact, what we would rather do is have users select the tag values from predefined sets of values, which does happen with the BPMN, for example, but often this is not the case. One of the challenges we see is that in of ensuring consistency across a project. Presenting, people with, presenting users with a large set of information can lead to some confusion, and in fact, if they ha have to enter the value themselves, they may get it wrong we would rather users select from a set of predefined values. In response to this that we developed EA forms to address some of the challenges we'd seen in various projects. The need to capture and edit information with a context that is one familiar to the users, two appropriate to the project and three helped ensure consistency. So what we have done with EA forms is produce a tool that will allow users to configure their own for forms defining the content and layout they need. I'm going to now look at EA Forms which is an element editor that can be configured to allow users or possibly someone in their organization responsible for management of their EA worlds to configure data entry editing forms that would match the needs of the project. So this is the content, layout, setting, selection of and filtering of information. So if I now look at our previous examples and I've enabled EA Forms. If I double click to edit our use case, what we find instead of getting the standard dialog, in this instance I'm presented with a very simple dialog asking the name. I do have the stereotypes put in because I'm going to use that in a second, the status and some notes. So on my first pass I could you could imagine somebody just putting in the basic information. So I'm going to change the stereotype of my use case one to paper. I'll just double click on that to get to the editor. In this case we've presented a form that emulates that of a table in a Word document. We have the name of the element, use case, reference, a tag value that the user can enter, the goal, which is the notes, that the specific aim of the uh, use case. We've included actors, preconditions, use case steps, post conditions, and also added some uh, drop down box related to some tagged values where we can select the frequency of use for the use case execution times so I could go through this use case put in some my, my information reference I could type in the goal or more specifically the goal is to I decide that I need to relate it to actors so I go and look in my actors folders and my particular 
use case may relate to a user. In fact, in EA Forms, we provide the mechanism so that you can open and look at the detail of that actor. We, that actor has just got some simple notes, but we also notice that it's connected to some other use cases already. We've got no preconditions at the moment, so we can put our precondition one in, and we can put the condition is and add that information and it appears in our list. Similarly we can add uh, details of the steps involved with our use case, add some conditions and set particular values. Saving that information. I'm just going to set a stereotype for the example on use case 2 to complex and this is purely to present an alternative form that may be useful. Once again it's really just illustrating what can be done. We've got a whole set of drop downs. In fact the status here we've we've made it so that the, the these user can't set approved. We've got notes. We can view the actors, add add actors preconditions and post conditions similar to that in the previous form. If we now return to the BPM example, we developed a form for our activity. This is a fairly simple form, but it just presents the information, the, the name, the type of task, the activity and the type of task. It also provides a checkbox that allows us to set a property. Of course, we could go through all the tagged values and, and add as many as required for our particular activity in the project. We can add some notes. As a software developer, I'm often using classes. So this is another area where if I open my class diagram, I add a class. It presents me with a form, which is an EA form which provides me with basic information I may want to set some notes about it, so add some attributes in so I can set my attributes I can set the types it's a boolean, I can set its initial value, I can put notes about it. Equally I can do this for my operations and I'm particularly interested when I'm looking at classes to see how they're linked so I've just put in a general list here to, to list anything that may be linked in this short video, we've illustrated EA forms by looking at three types of elements. The use case, a BPM in activity, and a class. These are just some examples that illustrate some of the things you can do with EA forms. In providing the tool, we've tried to give the user as much flexibility as possible so they can select the information, present it in the way that they want, change the appearance to better meet the needs of their project. I do hope you find this short video of interest. Thank you.